So we're just going to open up Minecraft with the mouse right here. And then boom, the game opens. I'm going to take my phone like this. You could obviously hook up a keyboard like you've been able to do in the past, but now you can use a mouse. How cool is that? What's up everyone, this is Autocus Tech, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can hook up a Bluetooth mouse to your iPhone. And yes, that I said iPhone, not iPad. So this is actually going to be a crazy video that I didn't think would be possible, but thanks to iOS 13, it's now possible. So check this out, guys. And real quick, if you want to see awesome videos on how to customize your iPhone and iOS 13, how to get the most out of it, and basically get some really cool, like, even jailbroken features, check out my other videos. I might link a playlist down below in the description, and you can, like, check that out to learn more about iOS 13. So, let me show you how to do this. So, you're obviously going to want to open up the settings application on your iPhone, and then, of course, we're going to go to accessibilities, scroll down, and then tap on touch, and then go ahead and then tap on assistive touch and you want to make sure that this is turned on so I've actually been trying to mess with this in the past which is why you may have noticed in my videos this has suddenly been turned on I actually didn't need it but I was trying to mess with this and I actually got it to work so you want to go to pointing devices and then you want to tap on Bluetooth devices now you want to make sure that your mouse is in some sort of connecting pairing mode so for the Apple magic mouse you just want to have it swiped up like this um, and then it should pair with the iPhone. But there we go. So you want to tap on Apple Magic Mouse and it should sync. Now there is a pin. I actually don't know the pin. If you don't know the pin, try 000. But wow, look at that guys. What the heck? This is an iPhone. Now, oh, this is so weird. Um you can customize the mouse buttons and then you can do single tap for button 1. You can also add additional buttons. So if your mouse has like a bunch of clicky buttons and things like that, you can go ahead and customize that. Um, so that's pretty cool. So button number two, you can choose to activate certain things. Now, I actually couldn't get scrolling to work, unfortunately, like a normal mouse. So what you have to do is you have to hold down and then swipe like this, as if it's like your finger. So every time I click the mouse button like so, like this, this menu right here for button two will allow me to do something. So for example, I'm going to make sure it says lock screen. So every time I click button two, it's going to open up the lock screen. So we're going to swipe up to go home. Maybe. So yeah, you can also use assisted touch if things aren't working for you. If I uh, double click or at least do the second button click, it should lock the device. Boom, works just like that. Wow, that's crazy, guys. My mind is blown. So think of how cool this would be on, like, the 10s Max, right? But also, on top of that, I actually haven't tried this yet, but for video games, maybe it could work. So, um, let's see if this works. So, boom, I got my mouse right here, and then I'm going to tap on Resume Game, and no way. <laughs> what? This is crazy. So, I do know for a fact that on the iPhone, you actually can hook up a keyboard. So... Certain games can actually do keyboard or uh, controller support in iOS 13. I do know that the iPhone works with the keyboard in previous versions of iOS, but it's never worked with the mouse. So this is actually crazy, guys. Like, my mind is blown. Now, the one thing I couldn't do is change the mouse sensitivity. Android's been able to do this for a while, but finally, Apple's come to their senses. This is awesome. I couldn't ask for more. iOS 13 is the best. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and as always, peace.